Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these file folder boxes to organize your sticker collection. They make it really easy to find what you're looking for with the labeled tab dividers. They're super easy to access each one. And best of all, it is a lidded box, so once you're done using them, you just place the lid right on top to eliminate all the paper clutter. And if you don't have such a vast sticker collection, what you can actually do is push all this over like this, line it with a couple cups or pails. These ones are from the dollar section of Target. And you can place all your craft scissors, some of your Sharpie markers, and your favorite pens right in there, like this. And it becomes a multifunctional organizer. Same thing, you just place a lid right on top and put it away in your closet when you're done to eliminate all that clutter. Alright, so for today's project, what you're going to need is a cardboard box. You can use a shoe box, or this one is a photo memory box that I got from Michaels for only $2. You're going to need some hard paper like cardstock or scrapbook paper. I'm actually going to use these file folders that I got from Target because I like the pattern on these and they're just the right thickness. You need a paper cutter, some clear tape, some washi tape, a uh, pattern of your choice, a tape measure, pair of scissors, some sticky tab dividers. These ones are the post-it brand tabs that are two inches. And this one is optional, but to make it easier to fold the paper, you can use one of these scoring boards that this one is a Martha Stewart brand one. So first what you want to do is take your box, open it up, and you're going to be measuring the width and height of the box with your measuring tape, or you could use a ruler too. And what you want to do is you want to measure out how wide and how high you want to make the dividers in here. So you measure it out. This is a seven and three quarters. And you want the paper to be a little bit shorter than the actual width of the box so it doesn't hit the sides and cause drag when you flip through the folders. So seven and three quarters, cut it a little short, make it seven and a half inches. And the height of the box is about four and a quarter. Same thing, you wanna make it shorter, but quite a little bit because you will be adding um, the extra heights with the dividers on the folders. So you want it about half an inch shorter than the actual height. So with four and a quarter, you wanna make it about three and three quarters inch high. And the folders are pieces of paper that are folded in half, so you want to double that length. So it will be three and three quarters times two, which would be seven and a half inches. So you will be cutting these pieces of paper into seven and a half inch by seven and a half inches. So you'll get something like this once you cut everything up. And this is where the scoring board makes everything so much easier. You just snap this off. You take your paper, line up the corner to the corner. And right at three and three quarters, which is halfway, you make a scoring mark like that. And you fold it in half. Super easy. And you will do that with all of your other ones. And make sure that the pattern is actually on the inside part of the folder. So what you want to do is take your clear tape. You just want to take just a small piece of that. And you want to tape these together right on the edge. Make sure it's lined up corner to corner, edge to edge. You take that together like that, same thing on the other end over here, corner to corner, edge to edge, tape it together. And once you tape that, you take your washi tape and whatever pattern you like. You want to center this on the line here and tape it all the way from edge to edge, like that. And once you tape it down, 
You want to cut off the excess. And you want to give it just a little bit extra here because what you're going to do is flip it over and fold this back like that. And same thing over here, just fold back the excess so you don't see it when you fold it over. So what happens is you'll fold this over like this, you'll take your next sheet. And same thing, you want to score it right at three and three quarters, right here. Fold it in half, tape it together, and you'll continue doing that. So this one, you want to tape it edge to edge right here. And same thing, you'll tape it and then you'll washi tape the edge. And you'll keep continuing to do that until you get something like this. So you'll tape multiple ones together. And what this does is when you get your box, all you have to do is place this in, stretch it all the way out, and it makes your folders for your box. Depending on how much stickers that you have to organize, you'll want to make more and more of these file folders. And if you, if your collections start growing, you can always just keep adding to it. And then you take these little tabs and you can write it in with a Sharpie what you want to organize, such as if you have a bunch of um, to-do list stickers, you can just write to do right on there. Peel it off and stick it onto one of the folders here. And you'll just continue to do that until you have it all lined up. And same thing, you'll have a lid for the box. So once everything is nice and neatly organized, you can just close it up and put it away. Super simple and easy. I hope you really like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please favorite the video if you wanna come back and try this for yourself and let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these file folder boxes to organize your sticker collection. They make it really easy to find what you're looking for with the labeled tab dividers. They're super easy to access each one. And best of all, it is a lidded box, so once you're done using them, you just place the lid right on top to eliminate all the 